Whitehaven High School is getting the biggest upgrade to its facilities yet to improve STEM education for its students, and they could use your help to make it happen. I'm Jerrica Phillips, and you're watching Peer Power News. For our first story, East High School celebrated the future of some of its graduating students during their virtual academic signing day. Academic Signing Day is a national event where students announce what college they chosen to attend. Good luck to the class of 2021 and all of your future endeavors. WorkBay is a career development platform that allows students to research, take tests, and earn learning merits, which enable immediate employment after high school into trade careers. Peer Power uses WorkBay because it understands that every student's background, talent, and goals are different, and that they may not all take the traditional path of a four-year college degree to achieve success. In the same spirit, Peer Power creates many opportunities to supplement the goals and passions of its employees as well as its students. Caleb Suggs has more on a recent Peer Power project that benefited both staff and high schoolers. It was all lights, camera, action early this month at Ridgeway High School when Peer Power produced a series of training videos for the learning and development of peer success coaches. Peer Power Digital Marketing Director Andrew Pasley directed each video with the added intent of giving his media interns the experience of working on a professional film set. One of the most rewarding aspects of my job with Peer Power is to be a mentor to my interns who all in some way want to enter into the film industry. Working on that training video was actually an amazing experience. Uh, Any time that I actually get to see industry professionals that are comfortable with what they're doing, it really is a very refreshing experience and I'm really glad that I got to be a part of it. Of course, producing these training videos wasn't just beneficial for the media team. It was also a great experience for the student actors who got to play a part. I was very happy to meet two high school students who aspire to be actors and I was able to give them the opportunity to act on a real film set which I believe was the first time they ever experienced anything like it. I was really excited for them to have an opportunity to participate in something where they could have the experience of being on camera but also just get to be here and get to do something. The program does seem to concern itself not just with the academics, but that the students are well-rounded and have things to do outside of class and inside of class that will challenge them and allow them to have fun. And our goal is to educate the whole person. For Peer Power News, I'm Caleb Suggs. Whitehaven High School is working to construct a brand new educational building that is said to be one of the finest STEM learning spaces in the SCS system. According to Dr. Vincent Hunter, executive principal of the Whitehaven Empowerment Zone, the WHS labs and science workstations haven't been updated since the 1940s and have grown largely dysfunctional. The Whitehaven students have persevered and done well with what they have. Dr. Hunter explains the vision of the STEM building and how it will help reimagine education in the Whitehaven community and eventually offer students the experiences they need to succeed. It's going to be a $6.25 million building that's going to change the lives of our entire community. Can you believe this? You're going to have elementary children who are going to work in the state of the art labs that can work with hands-on activities with robotics. They're going to have a stemnasium. Instead of a gymnasium, a stemnasium where they bring and create robots and they compete with one another. It's just going to be awesome. You can help support the more than $6 million STEM building project by logging on to the link below and donating to the campaign. Every contribution matters and donors of certain amounts will have the option of having their own personally engraved brick added to the design of the building. And that'll do it for Peer Powered News. But before we go, the organization is looking for new success coaches who are eager to make a difference in the lives of students across Shelby County. You can be part of Peer Power and become an influential figure in the classroom while starting at $13.25 an hour. If you would like to apply, all you have to do is log on to peerpowerfoundation.org. Go to the top and click Success Coaches. Here's what some of Peer Power's current success coaches have to say about the job. Hey everybody, my name is Allison and I'm a success coach at Kingsbury High School and I like working at Peer Power because working at Kingsbury has given me the opportunity 
to utilize my Spanish degree and my Spanish speaking abilities to connect and interact with students of so many different backgrounds. Hey guys, my name is Jalen Washington. I'm an English Peer Power Success Coach and I love working for Peer Power because it gives me the opportunity to first of all, get money, and then second of all, it gives me the opportunity to impact the lives of students every day. So I love working for Peer Power. Hi, my name is Vivica Martin and I'm an English Success Coach at Douglas High School and I love to work with Peer Power because I get to inspire academic excellence and be a role model for students. Visit peerpowerfoundation.org to sign up for monthly donations. Your contributions will impact the lives of students all across Memphis. Again, I'm Jerrica Phillips and thanks for watching.